Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah. Justice. Justice. Anybody and the scales are balanced. Look. These people that you're leaving behind, and I said it in um, my last night's reading, these people that you're leaving behind, uh, they need to look at the fair is fair. Fair is fair. If they didn't invest in you, you're not investing in them. There's that balance. It's, it's easy peasy. And these people, I feel like they, it's like, they want some kind of explanation or they want you to get on your knees and cry about it and it's not happening what what people gave you is now what you're giving them and the, and the scales are now balanced and it's making people crazy so yeah this is this is karmic justice poetic justice however you want to call it but this is the scales being balanced, okay? And here's that really frenetic kind of chaotic energy, right? Um, I feel like, too, there could be, a, you know, people lashing out at you. People who want to talk to you now. You, you're you're going to start seeing people wanting to come back in. And, and I feel like fair is fair. Fair is fair. If they didn't invest in you before, they don't get to come back in now. If they, if they treated you like you didn't matter before, then the big question is, is why do you matter so much now? If they didn't want to be part of your life then, then they can't be part of your life now. And I feel like that's what's fair. This energy is what's balancing the scales out, okay? I feel like things are going to die down, but right now um, it's going to start switching to the energy of people wanting to get back in. They're going to be calling you, texting you, literally hounding you to try to get back into your life, okay? Why, I, I, you know, if they didn't give to you before, why that's all going to change, like, immediately once you leave? I don't know. They're, they're pulling on your energy for different reasons. Some of them just don't want to see you succeed. Some of them don't want to see you move on. Some of, you have, or some of them have learned their lesson, know how badly they treated you, and they may want to make amends. It's, it's friends, family, exes. Uh, co-workers it could be anybody but I feel like it's multiple people that want to come back into your life and they're gonna want to come back really fast like like lots of people wanting to get back in I feel like it may even start driving us a little bit crazy because the phone's gonna be ringing off the hook Seriously, so get ready because people are gonna want to try to get back in, and I don't, I don't think that I, I feel like once the universe balances these scales out, the the universe doesn't want it to get out of balance again. You know, I feel like you're starting a new phase in your life. Yeah, look, they're out, they're done. This is you. Make, I feel like this is you making a decision, making a cut, right? Like Ginzu knives here, protecting yourself. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. You don't need these people back in. And the universe doesn't want to throw everything off balance. Again, the scales are just getting balanced now. So, um, yeah, I feel like you're going to block communication if, you, if the phone starts ringing off the hook, you may just, you know, toss the phone out the window. Like, seriously, that's kind of the, the feel that I'm getting for a lot of you out here. Maybe not all of you, but a lot of you are just done with being treated like nothing. Okay? You're just done. Um, and it's, it's divine timing, really. Like, you know, um, 
I feel like a lot of people are going through this. This is really the universe balancing things out. Okay? It's not like you're taking the matters of everyone into your own hands. No. This is divine timing for everyone. I feel like it's, um, it's just time for fairness now. It's time for fairness. And people are being taught how to treat somebody fairly. Okay? They don't like it. Yeah, look. Judgment. This is universal judgment. This is divine judgment. And you're making a cut here. You're cutting people out. I, I did a reading about this last night, guys. You're cutting people out, and I feel like you're being divinely led to do it, and I feel like this is a conscious decision that you're making. You, you put a lot of thought into to some of these relationships. Okay, I feel like you've had a lot of time to really think and look back and reflect on everything, and that's how you've gotten your own clarity here. Okay, because the divine showed you a lot of things. They had you reflect. And, and you know who deserves to come with you on this new phase of your life and who doesn't. You can now see, you have clarity. You can now see um, how people truly treated you in the past. And, the, and, and for a lot of these people, they don't deserve to take part in your future because of it. You have clarity here. And this is a decision you're making to cut people out. Okay? These are people who, you know, you could have known these people for years. Years and years and years. You know? Um... They may even want to come in, right, with this communication and play on your heartstrings a little bit. Try to pull your heartstrings like, well, we've known each other since childhood. Well, the, you have to ask them the question, well, how have you treated me since then? If you've known me since childhood and you never, you always treated me like I was nothing, then you've treated me like nothing since childhood. Right? I mean, if the, when these people come back in and try to get back into your life, I feel like what you're going to do is you're going to probably be honest with them and tell them the truth. That's only going to help them on their, to learn their lesson, right? It's a reminder. You're going to be reminding them how they treated you this whole time. They want to try to play on your heartstrings, and I feel like that's not going to work. Not when you're in King of Swords energy. I feel like this is your energy collective. Whether you're a feminine or a masculine, this is your energy. Cutting people out like a boss. After getting your own clarity on how they treated you. Okay? And I feel like it's multiple people. It's not just exes. It's not just lovers, it's friends, family, um, co-workers, could be anybody, really. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, I feel like you're the earth angel here. Um, and the divine is making the judgment call. Look at all these divine cards. I mean, you've got a lot of major arcana right here, and they're all very spiritual cards. Judgment, that's the universe. Justice, that's the universe. The lover's card, twin flame, right? Temperance, earth angel energy. I mean, you're being spiritually led here. Uh, you're using your intuition. Yeah, I feel like you're protected. And you know, these are the people who invested in everybody else except for you. They, they put their energy, their time, you know, they'd laugh with other people, they enjoyed other people, they may help other people, uh, provide for other people, but they didn't do anything for you. They left you sitting here and they knew that, the, that you were sitting there empty-handed and they didn't care 
at the time. They care now, and you're going to start hearing from these people really soon. With the first card out, it's coming in fast. Now these people are all up in their emotions, stalking you, wanting to know what you're doing. And you know what? You're not telling them anything. Because you know you don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe them an apology. You don't owe them an explanation. You don't owe them anything after they gave you nothing. You're empty-handed here. Yep. So you're standing your ground. You've got all this strength, right? You're standing your ground. Um, you, you're, you've been honest. You've had integrity through this whole entire thing. And it's time now for you to get your justice, too. And, and I feel like walking away from these people is your justice. But just know this, you're being watched because they don't know what you're doing. You're not speaking to these people. I don't think you're saying anything to them, really. And if they come towards you, if you even pick up the phone, right, um, you're going to tell them the truth. And you're not going to sugarcoat it. You're going to tell them the blatant, honest truth. And they're not going to want to hear that. So I feel like you're just walking away quietly. You know, these are people who didn't invest in you, so you don't want to you don't want to waste your time explaining anything to them. A fair is fair. Yeah, Empress and the Minor Arcana. Plus you're busy, you're happy. You're you know what? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you're a single person here, but you're happy being on your own. You're just happy. I feel like you're more happy alone right now because the people that you wanted to love you treated you so badly, it made you feel worse being in their energy, okay? But since you broke free and you healed and you worked on you, I mean, this takes a lot of effort. You've been through every pentacle in the deck. That's a long journey. And you've built yourself up to independence. You don't need anyone in this energy. You don't. You're happy being single. And I feel like once you broke free, you realized you're happier without these people. Because no one's making you feel like you're nothing. That's really the feeling that I'm getting out here. I, it's not going to be for all of you, okay? It's not. We're all at different levels on our journey out here, you guys. I know there's people out there that are heartbroken. But for whoever this is for, you're ready to walk away from all these empty cups. That's what these people are. I feel like it's multiple people, and I feel like these cups have been empty. No emotional fulfillment for you at all. Possibly year after year after year. But now that you're putting your love into you, um, you're pretty fulfilled here. I mean, look at this. All this yellow, that's being really happy. Being single, right? You're like Snow White out here talking to the little bird, getting messages from the divine. Working really hard, building up your stability, doing something you're passionate about. And being divinely led. Okay. Mixing up new soulmate connections, friends, lovers, new stuff. Okay, you're, you're, you're happier now because you don't have to deal with the pain of being treated like crap by the people that are supposed to be loving you. So you're standing in your boundaries. You're done. But I'm telling you, this communication, yes, thank you, Divine. This communication is coming in fast and hot. Okay? And these people, I feel like it's multiple people, they're coming in to talk. They're angry because you're walking away from the connections. 
and and it doesn't have to be a love connection it could be friends family like I said I think it's multiple people and you're about to you're about to get a lot of communication from different people wanting to get back in and they're gonna be angry with you okay that means they're still really learning the lesson. Let's look at it that way. They're learning the lesson still. Otherwise, they wouldn't be angry. They'd be coming to you with a cup of love. So the people that you're leaving behind, you're right in leaving them behind. It might take them years to learn this lesson, but I really feel like that's the energy we're in, is them learning, realizing, hey, you know what? Maybe it's them. Maybe you're walking away because of them and how they treated you, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting here anyway. Let me know if it resonates, right? But yeah, you're going to get a lot of communication. Um, they're going to be upset. They're, they're having a lot of anxiety. You know, uh, whoever this is, right? A lot of anxiety, can't eat, can't sleep, stressed out. Some of these people, man. Yeah, watching you, studying you, watching every move you make, seriously stalking you, stalking you around the community, stalking you online. Okay, when they should be coming in with an apology. Because I'm telling you, that big metal vault door that I call the Wheel of Fortune is slamming them in the butt as you walk out. Yeah. But, I mean, this is the energy that we're in, right? The scales are being balanced. Once again, this comes out in reverse. I did a reading like this last night. And I got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. These people can't come back in. They can't come back in. They cannot have a new beginning with you, at least until they learn how to treat you. And that's even going to be up to you. I feel like I feel like when this door closes, it's closed for good. I have to say, that's the feeling that I'm getting here, Collective. If they haven't learned already, if they can't respect you by now, if, they, if they're still going to be coming at you angry, this door, I feel like it's slamming shut. And I don't think that, I don't think the universe is going to let them back in because the, look, the universe wants everything balanced right now. Anybody who wants to come towards you to throw it off of balance again, the universe doesn't want that. This is the universe closing the door, Okay. You're just going with it. Really. These people have a lesson to learn. And um, they didn't appreciate you then. So uh, they can't join you now. Yeah. I feel like you're about to get a new soulmate connection here. New, new soulmate connections. Let's just say it like that. Because a soulmate... It doesn't have to, a soulmate isn't necessarily a lover or a love. It can be a friend, okay? Um, somebody that's close to you, somebody that you can move forward with into the new cycle. You're about to get somebody new stepping into your life, okay? However you want to look at it. These people over here that you've walked away from, they can't come back in. But there's a new one coming in, okay? There's a new, a new soulmate connection or, or multiple that are coming towards you because you're moving forward. This is you moving on into a new life. What I just say, right? Into a whole new life. And this new life, you're going to have new connections and you're going to have a, all this abundance, opportunities. Some of you could be making a house move. A location change you could be doing something online um, some kind of business that's becoming very abundant and stable and if you're doing something some like if you work online you could move just about anywhere in the world you're moving on collective make no bones about it 
That's what I'm sensing here. With a lot of strength. Um, but these people are going to kind of try to snap back. And, and, and they're, they're either going to, since I said snap, I, they're either going to snap on you, right, with some anger and upset. Maybe try to get you upset because of the decisions you made. Just, you know what? Just remember, I've learned my lesson from this, you know, and move on, right? Move on. Yep, death. Because th these connections are over and done over and done collective and your life is about to transform death is a transformative card so sorry about that all right so what advice do you have for the collective what advice do you have for the collective i feel like you're really holding your own here i mean you've learned your lessons you're moving forward you're standing in your strength your integrity your boundaries you're cutting people out like a boss. You're growing something solid for yourself. You're high-vibing and excited about your, your new future. I mean, come on, man. You know, I feel like it's these people over here that may need more advice. Um, yeah. All right. What can you show me for the collective? What advice? What would you like them to know, Divine? Oh, that's a lot. Going by the book. Yep. I feel like the divine is leading you, right? The divine's leading you in a new direction. And you're going by the book, right? You're doing everything that the, the divine is telling you to do. You're trying to follow their guidance step by step, right? Um, and they're, they're saying, since you follow them, since you're doing what they're asking you to do, in receiving the messages, you trusted them, right? You've let them guide you. Now is the time when you can manifest something new for yourself. Okay? Um, manifest, manifest like crazy, collective, because seriously, this is giving me the manifestation vibes totally. What is it that you want in your new cycle? What is it that you want in your new life? You know, we, we can't always focus on what we're leaving behind. We'll never leave it behind, right? So start switching your focus onto what's coming that's new for you, right? What do you want? I think it, it, it feels like to me, um, because you've done everything right, this is kind of the, the gift of um, being able to manifest. That's a blessing in itself. They want you to exercise it, right? Think of what you want in, the, in your new life. And I feel like those things are going to come to you. You're a very powerful manifester out here. You've got really powerful energy. But I feel like, like I said, if we're constantly focused on what we're leaving behind, we'll never be able to leave it behind. So now is where you need to switch your focus into what you want to come, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, so what is it that you want? What do you want? I'm, I'm seeing that scene from the notebook, right? What do you want, right? Um, yeah, I feel like you could pretty much lasso the moon at this point. The divine is letting you manifest. They want you to have a new beginning. They don't want you to be living in the past. They don't want you to be think constantly thinking about the people that you're leaving behind. Are they getting their karma? Are they paying for what they... You know what? Just focus on your future and manifest great things for yourself. Okay? Yeah, realize the things in your past are no longer for you. Focus on the things that are going to be for you. The things that are going to make you happy and feel fulfilled in the future. Right? All right, so give me one more for the collective. Give me one more for the collective. What's their advice? One more. Ooh. 
almost dropped the whole stack. One more for the collective. One more for the collective. Maybe I don't, maybe you don't need any more. Maybe that was it. Got one. Let's see. Round and round, yeah. Round and round. I feel like you're still in your mind about the stuff from the past. Um, as much as you're trying to step out of that energy, right? Like you're trying to like break through it. You know what I mean? It's that kind of feeling. You're still, it still keeps going around and around in your mind. Right now when you're manifesting and you, you've been given the power to manifest in an incredible way, um, <clears throat> it's really important to watch your thoughts. Be careful what you're thinking. Be careful what you're saying. Okay, because seriously, your manifest, your manifestations are going to come to you. So, you know, if you're constantly thinking about the people you're leaving behind you in the past and how they treated you, you could pull that into your new manifestations. Do you want that? You have to kind of always be conscious of what it is that you truly want, right? Because the round and round in your head about the past, it's not, it's, it's not going to work with the new manifestations. So just be mindful of what, you know, what you've got spinning around in your, in your mind. Um, you know, if you don't want the past or past issues that are very similar to your past issues, right? If you don't want that stuff in the new manifestations then you have to be careful um you know try to try to get out of your head about it right try not to think about it while you're focusing on what you want to come in does that i hope that makes sense for you guys <laughs> anyway collective listen yeah look letting letting this die yeah you're letting the old cycle end once again here we got two death cards right Letting the old cycle end um, so the situation for you can transform. That's what this is. A regeneration. Things are going to regenerate just in a way that you, uh, you're, you're in a way that's going to make you happier. Okay? And you're co creating it with the universe. Anyway, collective listen, that's what I've got for this reading.